Virgos, hey lovies, welcome back to your tarot and oracle card reading for today. It's me, Empress Meek, and I hope you all are having a beautiful holiday. For all of you who do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I am here to pop in real quick just to give you your message for today. I love you guys, and I'm going to let you go. This is going to be quick, okay? Virgo, overall, I want you to know, um, don't overthink, um, there's something here that um, you may be overthinking. Don't overthink things. The Spirit is saying everything is happening just the way it's supposed to. For some of you dealing with a family member or somebody in your energy that it's like the more you the more you don't respond to this person, the better your relationship gets. It's just like the more you just don't respond, like don't react, you know, and just keep on going with the flow. Don't let anybody affect your energy. It's like the better off you guys are. All right. And I feel like that's that's in your best interest. Just keep on with the flow. Do what you're doing and know that everything will work out exactly when it's supposed to. Some of you are feeling like you're in your family or regarding these people around you. You're feeling like superwoman or superman. Like they look at you for everything or they look to you to be like, I don't know what it is about you and being expected not to have feelings about something. You know, but um, let's get into this energy and see what's going on around you. We're going to first tap into um, the Moonology Manifestation deck. And y'all, let me just tell you that this is our new vibe, okay? The new year is bringing a lot of success. It's bringing a lot of um, fertility and new prosperity new possibilities so it's like some of you are going to be meeting your person some of you are going to be having a baby either way and some of you are going to be coming into all these new opportunities um i just want to make sure we're bringing in the new year right we're going to start off with the right healing vibe bringing in manifestation um manifesting money love wealth you know we're going to set the tone okay healing some of y'all just want healing you just want peace in your situation so let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels. Thanks for bringing me here with my soul tribe, my Virgos, my amazing King and Queen of Coins. We're very grateful today. Thanking you for everything you're doing in our, on our behalf. Thank you for each and every angel you sent to guide us in the right direction. We appreciate you blocking and binding all negativity, witchcraft, wickedness, anything coming that would get your divine will for our lives. We only draw from your divine realm of love, life, spiritual wisdom, and guidance, and truth. Thank you for abundance and overflow and victory in every situation. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, let's get into it. So the first card that came out, it says reflect on your priorities. All right, so some of you, um, full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius could be significant, but there's something that you need to pay attention to. Um, get your priorities in line. Some of you may be, um, it may be something you're neglecting or not noticing something that that's calling for your attention. All right. For a lot of you, I feel like you need to put you first. You are a priority. So I feel like you need to put your feelings first, make sure that you're feeling good about something, whether it's a response, a reaction, um, allowing somebody to come back or making amends with a situation. Make sure that, that, that you're putting your priorities first. Okay. Let's see what else came out. We got cool down your emotions came out. So cool your emotions. Full moon and Aries may have something to do with an Aries for some of you. I feel like this Aries got you all in your feels and you really need to just breathe. Okay. You just need to release, release that frustration and everything. Because honestly, at the end of the day, whatever's not meant for you won't be for you. All right. People that don't belong on your path get knocked off either way. All right. Let's better fight this battle. Okay. Just breathe. Next, we have detoxify, full moon and Taurus. Somebody needs to release a Taurus, perhaps. Feel like somebody needs to detoxify. Um, release negative thoughts, negative people. Don't be afraid. Just let go and let go because whatever is supposed to be on your path will be added unto you. And you guys just remember that and walk in and Yep, yep. So let's see. Last but not least, take inspired action. All right. So some of you have been thinking about something, full moon and Virgo. Ow. All right, we are master manifestors, creators, okay? Um, we tend to see things before it happens. We tend to see a solution to a problem that people don't genuinely see, okay? Use your skills to better your situation. That's what I'm getting. Use all that big Virgo energy to make things come into fruition how you want it, all right? And then full moon and Leo, be humble. That's going to get you everywhere. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to bring you that abundance that you want. Yes. 
So, all right, let's go ahead and put a feeling card out on each of these. Then we're going to get a message from Spirit through the Tarot. How are y'all doing today? Talk to me in the comments. I miss you guys. Yes, I've been trying to do some self-love and give myself time, you know, reflect on your priorities. Somebody could be watching, paying attention to you. We got somebody spying here. Um, somebody could want to know more about you. Somebody could be wanting to know what you're doing, okay? I feel like this could be an Aquarius, all right? Let's see why the spy card is here. Why is that here, spirit? Some divine... Some divine feminine energy could be spying on you. This could be a family member or somebody that you know. Um, somebody that's in your energy right now. They could be looking at you to see what you're doing. If you're posting where you are. Something. Okay. Look at this. Somebody could be trying to reflect negative energy on you. Or somebody is projecting their attitude towards you. Maybe somebody is not feeling their best towards you i feel like somebody may have an issue with you or something like that this could be another family member but i feel like this person is not that nice okay i don't feel like this person is that nice look and i feel like this could be somebody that you had an argument with or disagreement look wish fulfillment and storm somebody could be trying to stop your blessings stop your wish fulfillment stop you from being successful something here maybe somebody is jealous i feel envy look at these eyes i feel envy here like somebody is watching hateful and then trying to project bad energy with this evil eye energy look at this yes all right and this could be a family member this could be anybody but somebody is definitely having a problem with you for some of you i feel like it could be somebody that you're talking to their person like watches this person look at your page they watch this person like your stuff and different things like that so they're trying to follow and see which what's going on here but i feel like your wish fulfillment is very bothersome to somebody somebody is doing really well and it's really getting on this person's last nerve i feel like reflect on your priorities don't let this person distract you keep moving it's fair to say keep moving you're gonna get you got what you want like it's coming in for you so you don't have to let this person stop you or worry you okay that's a direct message for someone okay Focus on your self-worth and your expectations. Make it clear to the universe and keep pushing. <laughs> These people like could never. Like, so don't worry, okay? Full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. Yes, you're strong. Be empowered. Take the high road with the sun card. You're happy, okay? You got high vibrations and you're feeling good about life. You're optimistic, okay? You know things are going to work out. You can see what other people don't see. So you're like, I'm happy, Okay, just cool your emotions, be empowered, all right, and keep feeding off of this sun energy, all right? That's the happiest card in the deck. So you're doing well, all right, Virgo, I see you setting the tone, keeping the energy balanced because you're like, oh, baby, I got things to get, places to go, and people to meet, honey, yes. <laughs> you like, whoever ain't with it, door closed, okay? You don't have time for it, all right? And for some of my loves that is not feeling your best, Spirit is saying, look up. Keep your head up, like be encouraged, be strong, all right? Glass head full type of energy, okay? Take inspired action when it comes to your fears and limitations. There's something that you want to do. There's something that you want to do, Virg, and spirit is telling you to go for it. Full moon in Virgo, you are the you are the master manifester of the zodiac. You are the magician. You got the tools to make it happen. Spirit is saying make it happen. Take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid. One more on fears and limitations. Why is it here? Look at that. Time for you to release whatever you need to release. No judgment here. Just let it go. So you can get what you what you have coming towards you. Get what you're just due. Don't block yourself. Okay? And don't let people confuse you projecting this negative energy on you trying to make you stuck. You got to walk by faith and believe. That's how you manifest what you want. Don't let nobody stop you. Right? All right. So we got that here. Okay. <laughs> all right let's see detoxify so you're releasing these some of y'all are releasing these toxic people habits things i heard one of my loves i've read one of my loves in the comments and you go girl she letting go of weed drinks she's like nope i'm coming in the new year fresh because i want everything that's coming toward me and i know that's right everybody not there yet but <laughs> look serves you well because you get closer to your purpose that way okay you guys are supposed to be being activated right now. It's things that Spirit wants you to do. Time to release these old cycles and close them out. Yeah. Want, want more for yourself and then you're going to do more for yourself. It's just going to be like, period. You don't fit. 
what my idea of me being happy is. And some of y'all just need to say that. Just simple, right? Transformation. A lot of you are going through a spiritual transformation. Spirit is saying, release these things and watch what I do for your life. Okay, let's go ahead and get the message. Wow, it's killing these lack, doubt, doubtful thoughts and everything. Okay, let's see who is in your energy who might be thinking about you and what else spirit wants you to know. Okay, <laughs> do y'all like our new space? Healing energy, hmm? Yes, I'm elevating over here. So let me um go ahead and get this out the way. I'm going to set your energy over here to the side and we're going to go ahead and pull a tarot spray. Where are my cups? Right here. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Something may be involving um, family or a relationship. Okay. Look, wanting to work together. Somebody may want to work with you. It could be somebody that you work with. Somebody that you work with could be spying on your page. Okay. <laughs> somebody wants to put the burdens down. Ten of Wands in reverse. Well, somebody wants to, but they, they feel like they can't. Somebody may feel stuck, okay? I feel like somebody is holding on to things that don't serve them. With that Ten of Wands in reverse, I feel like you're not moving toward releasing this situation. Somebody turned back. So let's see who it is. Somebody should, look, somebody feels weak, all right? Let's see. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles flew on the ground. Hold on. All right, let's see. Somebody's intuition could be blocked. Um, and it's because they're not they're not paying attention to their angels here. The angels are here saying that some situation doesn't have what it takes to be a successful union, or it doesn't have what it takes to, to, to become a loving, fulfilling situation, whatever this is, and somebody is not paying attention. So, okay, spirit show Virgo exactly what they need to see. Thank you, Ancestor Spirit Guides. Holy Angels, what's going on with Virgo? And guys, I'm sending you guys a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. Always. Always. Okay. So I see somebody here moving on to calmer waters, moving away from arguments and disagreements. Like I said, it's some of your energy. I feel like the less you interact with this person, the more you, you know, just let them talk, let them whatever. It's like the better off you are. So you moving on the calm waters away from this person, getting on your nerves and arguing about everything every five seconds. It's always something. This could be a king of pentacles um, dealing with the younger Taurus Capricorn of Virgo. Okay. But I see two earth signs here. Okay, somebody can have a bright idea about going towards somebody, seeing somebody as good news. All right, I feel like somebody here wants to stop to get in, out of their head. Somebody is thinking about you a lot. I feel like somebody is going through some type of tough time. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. It could also be another Virgo for some of you. But I feel like this person is going through some type of depression. Show me why the Nine of Swords is here, Spirit. Okay, this person is watching you. That's who, that's who the spy is. Yeah, this person is keeping an eye on you, a very close eye on you. And I feel like this person is losing their mind over you, like over this situation. They're, they keep playing whatever this is that you're moving away from. They keep playing this conversation over and over in their head. Whatever you say, whatever conflict that you guys have. This person is just like wanting to give to you now. I feel like now this person, and you could look very young for your age, very beautiful. You could also be a younger um, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, like I said. For some of you, it could be your child that you're trying to talk to. All right, and this situation got you stressed out because you're watching this child. For some of y'all, you feel like your daughter's being too grown. They just growing up so fast and you're just like, oh my God, like, <laughs> I'm not lying. I see that here. Some of my male Virgos is like getting their heart broke because their baby is grown. Like some things they see online, they don't like. Okay. Let's see. Page of Pentacles here. Why? Wow. Taurus, Capricorn, I mean, Scorpio energy. Okay. Somebody's supposed to be investing in a spiritual transformation, I feel. I feel this Capricorn Taurus is supposed to be um, investing in this transformation. Somebody, um, somebody decided to end something so that they can have a new beginning. 
Why is the death card here, Spirit, for Virgo? Wow. Somebody put an ending to a family dynamic or somebody's ending a marriage. Somebody also could have lost their job. Wow. Ten of Pentacles talks about um, stability. It also talks about happily ever after, a happy family, stable, um, long-term wealth. Somebody could be invested in themselves so they can transform their financial situation here. All right? Somebody is like making a sacrifice here, learning more about how to invest in more money, longevity. Somebody wants to be rich, wealthy. Somebody is, um, a lot of you are studying, you're, you're taking classes, courses. Some of you are um, learning more about how to invest your money. Somebody is trying to flip their money. All right, I feel that very strongly here. Yeah, I feel like somebody else is, is guarded. Somebody is somebody here, this person. Somebody does not want a relationship with them. You feel like this person is out of their damn mind. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Show me what. Y'all got me laughing. Show me the five of wands here for my Virgo. Five of wands. Arguing about how a family should go, how, how the dynamic should be. Somebody's arguing about what's decency and order, what works and what shouldn't, like how is lying supposed to be commitment or how is lying supposed to be um, creating a solid foundation. Um, I feel like, or how is, how is all this conflict and us not being able to communicate going to help us? You're just like, no, I can't be bothered with it. This you, Virgo, you, you left. Like, you're like, bye. That is hilarious. You left. <laughs> This person's having some type of mental conflict because they want to come towards you. But I feel like the last time they did, it was an argument. They see this five of swords here because, I mean, the five of wands is here because they know that they're not, they haven't changed much. And if they come back towards you in the same energy, it's not going to work. That's why it's confusion about coming towards you. Some of y'all, this person is married and they're telling you that they ended it. <laughs> did they really end the spirit? Show, show Virgo. Did they end this situation? Oh, for some of y'all, they did. Two of Cups in reverse, and it was an unstable relationship. Some of y'all, it was a karmic, and they, they did leave. And for some of you, Virgo, this is you. Investing in an ending to this ratchet marriage, ratchet relationship. And you're like, no, you toxic is I don't know what. I cannot. No. Look, moving away from talking to this person. I feel like some of y'all are moving away so you can get your blessing. Spirit's blessing you for walking away from this person. Yes, yes, yes. You feel the you felt the change as soon as you decided. Then you start seeing a shift. You start feeling it. You know. All right, Spirit. What's the advice for Virgo on this person? Is this person coming toward my Virgo? What's happening? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, they coming towards you. They're gonna be talking to you. Some of y'all, it's your mother figure. All right, you're gonna be seeing your mother figure. Some of y'all, it's a family member. Y'all gonna be talking. I feel like this king of this king of coins is depressed about their page of swords. It could be a son, a student. They got a little baby here, a child that's in the learning phase. So this child could be developing into a teenager. But some of my king of coins here, they're sad about it. Oh, um, I feel like somebody got just somebody that just is a pain in their assets. Just making life hell for them. My God. People just need to. Oh, I'm trying my best to spread as much love as I can. <laughs> Queen of Swords energy here to the Six of Cups. Could be a reconciliation from a Queen of Swords energy. Could be a Libra in your life. Could be a mother figure. Um, also, this could be my male Virgos. Towards, or, <laughs> that could be my male Virgos going toward this mother figure, sister, or something like that. I feel Capricorn watching my reading. Capricorn, I'll be doing your reading soon. I will. All right. Ten of Wands energy here. Wanting to put down the burdens and reconcile. So somebody's coming towards you. You're going to be seeing one of these family members, baby. After some confusion. But this person is coming towards you. All right. And what else does Virgo need to know about this energy spirit, please? I know, y'all. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me that's a good tower. The tower, the end of a situation, ending the end of something as you know it. Somebody ended this situation because they found out that someone was giving to two. Also, somebody walked away because they felt like this, this situation was blocking their blessing. Wow, look what flew out. Tower, happiness, the sun. 
somebody could have a tower moment with a Leo and now you're guarded from this person. Hmm. For some of you, it also could be a, a child, your child not wanting to come towards you for the holidays. <laughs> Look, King of Cups here. So I feel like somebody is dealing with a Scorpio also that is spying. Somebody has a choice between a King of Coins and a King of Cups. The King of Cups is spying and the King of Coins is depressed. Either way, you're over here walking away because you're like, I'm sick of y'all. Like, I can't even get somebody that can be honest with me, so I'm out. Bye. Yeah. And you feel like with this person here, the, the, the Taurus or the Capricorn or the other Virgo, you're like, man, I make out better when I just ignore this person because I'm saying if I say anything to this person, it's just another argument. So you're done with that. Like, that's not the energy you like to be in and that's blocking you. Like, you're trying to manifest and stay high vibration. And I feel that very strongly here. Boom, that's what we got here. Look, everything came to a screeching halt. You like, no, I'm not. You up there, you're you're this um king this knight of pentacles because you know that you're loyal, you know that you're dependable and reliable. You're in this energy of taking your time, making sure you're doing things properly. For a lot of you, you could have been dealing with somebody like that, but this person was trying to take their time and get to know you while they already have a situation going on, and you're just like how is that working? Like, no, I'm leaving you out in the cold. Why? Because you're too, you're like, somebody just is like, you, they, they rush off at you and say whatever they want. And just, it's always abrupt and sudden. And you're just like, no, I'm leaving that reckless energy in the cold. You don't want to be bothered with that. If it's toxic, it's not for you. And that's just where you are with it. Let's go ahead and get you a self-love affirmation card. Angels, what messages, what um, advice do you have for Virgo here in this situation with these family members or relationship? All right, I honor my intuition. I trust myself. So basically, Spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. Underneath the bottom of the deck, appreciate all you have. Let go of how you think your life should be and celebrate all that it is. It says needing nothing attracts everything. And that's so true. That's the energy that I was getting that was telling you to just keep doing what you're doing. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to rush anything. Just be. Right? All right, lovies. Well, that was your reading. I love you, love you, love you to life. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, Virgos. Oh, and if you want a personal reading, I am doing them. Just email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. All right, y'all. I got to go. And it's time for me to get ready to cook something else. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right, bye, Virgos.